Set me free from my distress, O Lord. See my loneliness and suffering and take away all my sins. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we stand at this altar, we make a total surrender of our life in the hands of God. There is the essence of our religion, giving our life in the hands of God and deciding to spend our life in service of our neighbor. We need to recapture this depth of our religiousness. We have much to ask God's pardon for because we have restricted ourselves to external practices, practices without an inner spirit. Let us confess together. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, we pray, may be so conformed to the paschal observances that the bodily discipline now solemnly begun may bear fruit in the souls of all. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, If a wicked person turns away from all his sins that he has committed and keeps all my statutes and does what is just and right, he shall surely live. He shall not die. None of the transgressions that he has committed shall be remembered against him. For the righteousness that he has done, he shall live. Have I any pleasure in the death of the wicked, declares the Lord of God, and not rather that he should turn from his way and live. But when a righteous person turns away from his righteousness and does injustice and does the same abomination that the wicked person does, shall he live? None of the righteous deeds that he has done shall be remembered. For the treachery of which he is guilty and the sin he has committed, for them he shall die. Yet you say, the way of the Lord is not just. Hear now, O house of Israel, is my way not just? Is it not your ways that are not just? When a righteous person turns away from his righteousness and does injustice, he shall die for it. For the injustice that he has done, he shall die. Again, when a wicked person turns away from the wickedness he has committed and does what is just and right, he shall save his life, because he considered and turned away from all the transgressions and he has committed, he shall surely live, he shall not die. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
responsorial psalm your response if you o lord should mark iniquities lord who could stand if you o lord should mark iniquities lord who could stand out of the depths i cry to you o lord lord hear my voice o let your ears be attentive to the sound of my pleadings response If, if you, you o lord should mark iniquities lord who could stand if you o lord should mark iniquities lord who could stand but with you is found forgiveness that you may be revered response lord, if you, you o lord, lord should mark iniquities lord who could stand i long for you o lord my soul longs for his word my soul hopes in the lord more than watchman for daybreak response if you, if you o lord, lord should mark iniquities lord who could stand more than watchman for daybreak let israel hope for the lord for with the lord there is mercy in him is plentiful redemption it is he who will redeem israel from all its iniquities response If, if you, you o lord should, should mark iniquities lord who could stand verse before the gospel glory and praise to you lord jesus christ cast away from you all the transgressions that you have committed says the lord and make yourselves a new heart and a new spirit praise to you lord jesus christ glory and praise to you lord jesus christ the lord be with you and with, with your, your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to st matthew glory, glory to, to you, you o lord, lord. chapter 5 verses 20 to 26 At that time Jesus said to his disciples I tell you unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees you will never enter the kingdom of heaven You have heard that it was said to the to those of old you shall not murder and who are murderers will be liable to judgment but i say to you that everyone who is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment who are insults his brother will be liable to the council and who are says you fool will be liable to the hell of fire so if you are offering your gift at the altar and they remember that your brother has something against you leave your gift there before the altar and go first be reconciled to your brother and then come and offer your gift come to times quickly with your accuser while you are going with him to court lest your accuser hand you over to the judge and the judge to the god and you be put in prison truly i say to you you will never get out until you have paid the last penny the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear brothers and sisters in the gospel today jesus is challenging us challenging everyone who wants to follow him challenging us that our religion should be very different from the way the scribes and pharisees practiced their religion how different 
different because for the scribes and Pharisees, religion consisted in the external observances. External observances of the commandments, customs, traditions, and rituals. Observances that did not have any interiority. There was absolutely no inner spirit. They did not mean anything to them in their day-to-day -day life. They were not connected to God or to their neighbor when they practiced their religion. And Jesus said, no, that's not what religion is. Religion is a matter of interiority, inner spirit. And Jesus gives an example. You, Jesus said to the Pharisees and scribes, you observe the commandment, do not murder. But then you keep anger, ill feeling, and revenge in your heart. That is hypocrisy. Murder is only an external manifestation of the inner alienation of anger. The moment I keep an anger, I decide to keep an anger, an ill feeling, a revenge against my brother, I am already alienated from him. I decide to keep a distance from him. That is what ends up in murder. Murder is only an external manifestation. Anger, St. Paul said, therefore, is already a murder. And the Lord is saying, what's important is the inner spirit. And therefore, if you come to the altar to offer sacrifice, you must look into your heart. Are you keeping any anger in your heart? Go, Jesus said, first. Be reconciled. Only then come and offer your sacrifice. The inner core of religion is total surrender. Total surrender of our life to God. A surrender that should enable us to meet our brothers and sisters in love, in loving service. There is interiority. Not merely doing things. Of course, we need to do things. We need to have external observances. But external observances get the meaning only when they become manifestations of the inner spirit. Interiority manifested in externality. Only such external observances have any meaning in religion. Today, we need to make a very honest soul searching. The way I practice my religion, my piety, Am I truly connected to God? Am I truly connected to my brothers and sisters? Or am I just doing things? Merely doing things, merely practicing religious observances does not make me a religious person. I need to be surrender to God and I need to be loving ready to spend my life for my brothers and sisters Amen Yeah.
brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept the sacrificial offerings, O Lord, by which, in your power and kindness, you willed us to be reconciled to yourself and our salvation to be restored through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children this sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in, in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the highest. highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis of Pope, Malcolm Cardinal Renchit, our bishop, and all other bishops and clergy. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in our mercy. 
welcome them into the light of your face how mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed apostles and all the saints who are pleased to throughout the ages we may merit to be cohesed in life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen with the confidence of the children in the love of our heavenly father the soul pray to him in the words our savior taught us our father, father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be heaven. thy name thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come thy, thy will be done on earth as, as it is in heaven give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against, against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior Jesus Christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be always with you and with your spirit it's all for each other a sign of peace lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us peace Behold the lamb of God Behold them who takes away the sins of the world Blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb Lord, Lord I am not worthy that they should enter under, under my roof but only say the word and, and my soul shall be healed May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life
heart of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire earnestly to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you are already there in my heart. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. As I live, says the Lord, I do not desire the death of the sinner but rather that he turn back and live. Let us pray. May the holy refreshment of your sacrament restore us anew, O Lord, and cleansing us of all the ways, take us up into the mystery of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go in the peace and joy of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thy loving kindness is better than life. Thy Will I bless thee?